guys! Today we're going to talk about my LASIK experience. I want to talk about it because I think that it will be a big help for a lot of people out there that are curious and also those that are um, thinking that they would like to, to do the procedure also in the near future. So, it all started last December 2017. I was really having frequent headaches and I thought that maybe I should just change my glasses and my eye grade may, may have really went up. And so I went to the optometrist and uh, they told me that my eye grade did not go up and, but my astigmatism had really advanced. Then I thought, yeah, okay, I'll just change glasses. That's the reason why I'm getting this headache. So, they told me that the glasses alone would cost me 13,000 pesos. I was really like, oh my god, that's expensive without the frame. So, it cost a lot. I told my parents that I wanted to try out other alternatives that will be more permanent. And I told them I am already thinking of considering LASIK. They were really very supportive, which I am very thankful for. And then, um, I would also like to tell those people who's considering to do LASIK to really do it for yourself. I mean, a lot of people may think, oh, they're doing this because they want other people to um, have, like, think they're beautiful or something like that without the glasses. But really, uh, uh, if you're considering doing it, do it for yourself. Um, this is all about you. This is not about the people around you. And whatever you do with your life, this will be all about you. So, that, with that thought, I thought maybe it's time for me to do it because it will really help me enjoy life more. I really have a lot of things that I think uh, I could have done better without my glasses or um, and I think there is also still a lot of things ahead of me that I will really enjoy more. So it's more of uh, getting a better quality of your life. That's why I decided to go for it. So that's it. That's the things that I consider the cost for, I think, um, long time, long time effect of that. And also to really get a better version of me out there. So that's it. Um, okay. So that's it. That's it. I think that's the things that I could do. So I'm ready. <laughs> LASIK. Laser assisted in situ keratomyelitis. So that's what it means. It's the most popular refractive eye surgery procedure that corrects various errors of refraction such as nearsightedness, farsightedness, and even presbyopia. A method wherein a corneal flap is cut and prepared on the eye. The corneal flap is folded over to one side by the eye. In, in this way, the pulses of the eczemar laser strike the interior of the cornea directly and remove a few micrometers of tissue depending on the degree of correction required. So, immediately thereafter, the flap is carefully repositioned into its original position. So, basically, it just means that a part of the corne cornea is being cut out or through LASIK so that the eyeballs will, will retain its normal shape because as the eye grade goes up, the eyeball also, I think, takes a more um, distorted shape like an oblong so they they cut out some of the cornea to retain the original shape of the eyeball so that's it I think that's um, what LASIK is all about and it corrects the vision before LASIK so a lot of people think, oh, where should I go? So I did a lot of research about it also. And I found two places where we can go for the LASIK procedure. It is the Shinagawa LASIK and Aesthetic. I went to the Makati branch because I think it's closer to my place. But they also have an Artigas branch. And 
the second one I went to I went to Borough Center for site. Yeah, Borough Center for site. They're in Moa. You can check them out. I also considered a lot of factors on where I should be doing the procedure. So um, they're very accommodating, both of them. In Borough, in Moa, uh, they when I had a consultation, they had one test that I can do and then um, we can have the the LASIK procedure right away. And then I considered the Shinagawa because they have a lot of celebrity slash personalities testimonials. And I said, okay, they have a lot of testimonials, so I think I'll go with it. And that's it. So I'll go with okay, it's it had a lot of patients before that said that it was a good thing to try or it was a good clinic so I said okay I'll go for the Shinagawa then we have what are the candidates for LISIC so these are the basic requirements one a stable eyeglass prescription for at least two years so that time I'm, I had, had the glasses for I think a long time I didn't change my glasses so I think I my eye grade had not really risen for at least two years at that time. Two, you should have a healthy cornea. And three, no active eye or autoimmune disease. For four, you should be over 18 years old. Then, the pricing. <laughs> for the price, I must say that this is really pricey. Uh, the regular price, they have three LASIK procedures. These are Ultra LASIK, Z Prime LASIK, and Z -like LASIK. For the Ultra LASIK, uh, introducing the Schmidt Amory 75OS. So, Ultra LASIK patients experience a real wow effect. Budget. I don't know. They just have this three one. I don't know. I just think they have different machines for each LASIK procedure. So that that's the Ultra LASIK, Z Prime LASIK, and Z LASIK. For those that are, have a very healthy cornea, they could try Z LASIK. It's also very effective. The second one, the Z Prime LASIK. I think it's called Prime because it has a newer version of the machine. And the Ultra LASIK, I think it's the one where they cut the corneal flap and then they change or they put an artificial lens with it. It's uh, more of for those who are already of old age so that um, they will have a new set of lenses. So that's it. For the price, the Z LASIK cost 140000 but when I went there, it was discounted to 58000 The Z Prime LASIK cost 160,000 and then the discounted price is that 78,800 and then the ultra LASIK is a uh, 180,000 for a regular price and discounted price of 88,000 their payment method is cash and credit card and it's inclusive of one year checkup and every follow-up checkup after that one year is 750 pesos so I thought okay it's Cut into half, I'll go for it. And then, um, I was, uh, I had to choose between the Z LASIK and Z Prime LASIK. So I chose the Z Prime LASIK as I have a healthy cornea naman daw. And uh, the Ultra, they didn't really recommend the Ultra LASIK for me because they said that I'm still young and I do not have to change my lens yet. Here, if the when I went there, I was like, okay, I'll pay for the cornea for the LASIK procedure. I didn't thought that there's something called cross linking. So I thought, okay, uh, what's cross linking? It's when your cornea is oh my god. Okay. It's very windy. <laughs> It's very windy. <laughs> so here. When I went there in Shinagawa, I thought, okay, I'll pay for the LASIK procedure and that's it. I'll just get my screening. And they told me there's a procedure called 
cross-linking. So, oh my God, what's cross-linking? I thought another payment, another set of payments. So, this cross-linking was for those people who have a thin cornea. So, they're going to, to like, leave, to think, remove some of the cornea. So, uh, if you have thin corneas, they can't really do that. So, they would be suggesting cross-linking. Cross-linking costs 80000 for both eyes. So, you have to be really ready for that, I think. When I went there, it's like, okay, I'll just pay for the LASIK procedure. I didn't know that there's this cross-linking procedure. The screening fee is free. But, when I went there, they said that, okay, the screening is for free and then you can do your... Because, uh, it will be included in your LASIK procedure. But, uh, and then it will um, be, I think it can be used, the screening, the screening result will be, or can be used for a few months. I didn't know that uh, I can't wear contact lenses. So I like, I'm like, can I do another screening so that I can wear my contact lenses before the procedure? And they told me that the screening fee would cost 3,000 pesos if I will do it again. So for all of you who are thinking of doing a LASIK procedure, uh, make sure that you will choose a date that's kind of near, uh, near to the screening date because <laughs> I don't know. I really wanted to use contact lenses, but I was like, okay, I will pay another 3000 I think I'll not use contact lenses anymore. <laughs> so, that's it. So, I just think that if you will use contact lenses the next few days after the screening date, um, maybe you should choose a day that's a day that's really near from the screening date. That's it. <laughs> For the office hours, they have Screening time of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can call them for that schedule of Monday to Saturday. Sunday. I think it's good because even on weekends, they're really open and they accommodate patients. Before LASIK, I had my screening procedure last January 19, 2018. The bright room and the dark room. For the bright room, one automated refraction, two corneal topography, three specular microscopy pathometry, four air pathometry. I remember the air pathometry the, mo the most because most of the time there's just this couple of machines you will put your eyes there and they will tell you, oh, look at that light or something. <laughs> look at that, I think. Thing or something, but this air popped on sonomically. I think it checks the pressure of the eye, and then it it's like a gun that will like pop air. It's like I'm always very surprised whenever the air was out of the machine. It's like oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my eyes. Yeah, yeah. I just think there's. I don't know. I was always surprised whenever the air comes out of the machine and it just directly heats my eyes. Something like that. So, for the dark room, they have wave front analyzer, two OPD scan, yeah, three pentacam, four ORBS scan, and five active target machine. So, when I went there for the screening, it was my first time to go there. And I think I'm a little bit intimidated because all of the testimonials that I see were from really known personalities or from celebrities and I'm like, okay, I'm just a normal person and okay. <laughs> but then they're very accommodating and the, the place is very nice. I don't know, elegant? I think that's the right word for that. And they have a lot of 
uh, places where um, the people can really wait comfortably with the TV screens and the movies playing. You can also choose between the movie and the local channels there. It's very um, elegant and I was a bit intimidated because I was a bit intimidated. Okay, they all look very expensive and rich and they're like, wow. <laughs> but thankfully, um, um, there's nothing to worry about. They're all very accommodating. Thank you, Shinigawa. <laughs> yeah, they're all very accommodating. And I didn't really regret going there because I was reassured of their process. And I think one of the reasons why I decided to go with their uh, procedure is because they had a lot of testing machines before I am actually advised to go through with the laser procedure. There's a lot of screening that I did. So for the second part of the screening, it's called cyclopedic refraction. I think they dilated my eyes <laughs> and I really can't see that much. So that's it. I think for the screening, I would also suggest for those who are thinking of going there to have some company with you so that when your eyes are dilated, there will be someone to take you home because I don't know. If, if you, ha you really are from a far place, a province, then I think it would be best just to be safe. For the LASIK procedure day, it's January 27, 2018. It's a Saturday. So my parents are also very supportive. They also went with me on the day of the LASIK procedure. Okay, for the LASIK procedure, um, they will tell you the best time to go there, like a few hours before the LASIK and um, a few tips. I think it would be best if you will eat before the procedure <laughs> because after the procedure, you might you may not want to eat anymore and uh, it will add up to those things that you will think of. So we went there and then we ate lunch somewhere near the establishment and um, yeah for the LASIK procedure we had a step one the signing of the consent form hi I'm here in Shinagawa for my LASIK operation today so I'm gonna use my, my glasses because it's been with me for a couple of years already They have two meeting areas and different um, screens for those three meeting areas. Washing the face with Shinigawa facial wash. Matagal kang hindi makakapag hugas ng mukha. Tapos meron silang Celeste Glow. Um, Tapos may towel sila dun sa likod. Celeste White and Nicky Minis. There's a 
all the calls that will be taking the procedure that day I had with the video. And mm, what can I say about that? Yeah, there's a lot of us. I think more than 10. <laughs> and I think I, uh, the last one that went inside the room was a celebrity. I just didn't know who he is. <laughs> and I was like looking at him. I, I think I really know this guy, but I don't know where I saw him, but I think he's a celebrity. We have our do's and don'ts. So for those... Yeah, no. uh, you uh, yeah. So for those who don't have, you can grab one copy in the reception area. Okay? And then third, the most important question that I have is, do you have any allergy for medication like antibiotic or anesthesia? Or anything reliever? None. So, okay. so I'm going to start now. So I think you have an idea already regarding of your surgery. And I think some of you maybe watch already a videos how we make it. Okay? So technically operation itself it will take only 10 to 15 minutes. Okay? But of course it will depend on your cooperation with the doctor. It can be more than 15 minutes or it can be less than 10 minutes. Okay. So I have two reminders for everyone to shorten the surgery time pop. So my first reminder is listen to the doctor instruction. Whatever the doctor said, just follow him. Especially if the doctor said to you, keep looking at the green blinking light, just keep looking on it. And it's very important the green blinking light because of the focus of your eyes. Once the focus of your eyes is good, everything will be smooth. Okay? But if your eyes are moving, during the procedure, it will very it it can be difficult for the laser machine to detect the pupil, okay? Or the laser machine hindi po siya magbubugan ng laser, okay? So just keep looking at the green blinking light lang po, and everything will be smooth, okay po? Then second reminder: do not move, avoid unnecessary movement, or be still throughout the procedure. Why? Because every part of our body is connected to each other. Once you move your hands, once you move your toes, once you move your feet, technically your eyes will move also. So you have to be, uh, you have to be still or do not uh, avoid unnecessary movement throughout the procedure. Okay. Then throughout the procedure, you have to open both eyes, even one at a time. Lang yung ginagawa ni doctor. Why? Because our eyes have the uh, same sensation only. If the right eye is ongoing, then the left eye hindi, then technically you close your right left eye, technically your right eye will close also. So, ganun po, same sensation na. So, even one at a time lang po yung procedure, you have to open both eyes. Okay? And I know it's very difficult on your part to open it widely throughout the procedure. Don't worry, there is a helping device that the doctor will answer to you. That's what we call the lead speculum. So during the insertion, only my advice is do not make any resistance. Just allow the doctor to answer it. Do not squeeze your eyes or close your eyes. Otherwise, it will be painful on your side. Okay? Clear? And once it's open already, just keep looking at the green blinking light. Now. Okay, po? Then the doctor will make a flap. There is a flap maker machine through hand piece po siya. Once it contact on your eye, you will feel something heavy or a little bit pressure and I know it's not comfortable in your side but just hold it. It will take only 23 seconds to make the flap. Ganun po siya kabilis gumawa ng flap. Okay? So after the flap was made, the doctor will lift the flap and that's the time there will be a laser ablation that will correct already your vision. And during the laser ablation, Maybe you will you will smell something burning, and it's normal lang po. Don't panic. It's only normal. It's only the laser that penetrating into your iPad. Yun lang po yun. Okay po. Any question po? Wala naman po. Okay, now let's go to your post of Everything inside of your post of is good for seven days, seven nights, or for one day. So inside of your kit, we provided you guys two types of eye protection. You have your goggles and you have your eye shield. Okay? So, this eye protection that you have inside of your kit will serve as a reminder for everyone that after the procedure is very important to bear in mind, do not rub your eyes. Do not rub your eyes. Do not 
rub your eyes. Why? Because the crack that the doctor is made, it's movable. Too. So once you rub your eyes and accidentally the crack is already, it's already, I mean, it's not already in the proper alignment, it will really cause discomfort as well as irritation into your eyes. So after the procedure, very, very important to bury your mind, do not rub your eyes. Okay. So your goggles, you're going to wear this one as long as you're awake. Indoor or outdoor, you have to wear this one. And if you will ask me if you can use your regular shade instead of your goggles, it's up to you. Okay? But we're still recommending for everyone to wear these goggles. And as you can see, this goggles is especially made for LASIK patients because there is a copper deep frame that will protect you also for any small particles that may enter into your eyes. Okay? Then now, you have your eye shield also in your teeth. So this eye shield will protect you from sleeping fog. Okay? As during sleeping hours, you have to wear this eye shield. Because sometimes when we are on deep sleep, unconsciously we are rubbing our eyes. At most, we have also protection against our own hands. Okay? Any question? None? Okay. Now let's go to your eye drops. Instead of your teeth, there is two types of eye drops. You have your oxaloxacin dexamethasone and you have your artificial tears. Ofloxacin, let's talk first about ofloxacin dexamethasone. Yes, sir. Ofloxacin is antibacterial agent. Dexamethasone is anti-inflammatory effect or for healing process. The drops that you have inside of your teeth, for the first 3-4 hours after the surgery, it should be around the clock every 3 hours to be instilled. What does it mean? Even in the middle of the night, you have to wake up to instill the drop. Okay, one drop or two drops is enough already. Okay? Then after the 24 hours, as long as you're awake na lang po. No need to wake up early in the morning on the following day. Okay? The very important, only the first 24 hours of the surgery because that is the critical stage of the infection. And we don't want any infection after surgery. Are you clear? Then after 24 hours of the surgery, as long as you're awake, but still every three hours for one week, okay? But it will depend tomorrow when you come back here for your follow-up visit, if the doctor will lower the will if he will lower down the dose. Okay, po. Any question, po? Now let's go to your artificial tears. Your artificial tears can relieve mouth pain, itchiness, and dryness of the eyes. So that's eye drops that you have, it's only as needed. There's no specific time of it. As long as there's mouth pain, itchiness, or dryness of the eyes, you can drop mag or you can still the drop off. One drop or two drops is enough in But that's this what one, this. But that one, you're going to use that one after 24 hours of the surgery. What does it mean? You're not going to use that one tonight, but tomorrow after you go to the wedding. Artificial first one. Why? Because we don't want to alleviate the effect of the antibiotic. So at most, only pure antibiotic pa lang yung pinatatak na pili the first one. This is the pili na. Yes, ma'am. Every three hours. Any question po? Now, there is methanolic also in the hands of the top. Mild pain, mild itchiness, and also dryness. And there's also methanamic, uh, uh, methanamic acid inside of your teeth po. Two tablets po. I cannot promise that it will be a painless surgery for everyone. Because every human being is different from others po. So for those who have low tolerance in pain, you can take one methanamic acid one at a time po. But make sure you eat something before you take the tablet because it may cause the strike is once you take it at this home. Okay? So if you will ask me, what, the, what is the interval of the tablet? At least 6 to 8 hours. Okay? Especially tonight, if you cannot be able to sleep due to the pain, you can take two amethanamic. Okay po? Any question po? Um, ah, ito po yung after nung 
uh, operation. Tapos, ito po, gabi lang. Opo, sa gabi lang po. Uh, kapag natutulog po tayo. Uh, kapag normal na, kunyari kinabukas na after, magpapalit ulit nito. Opo. As long as you're awake po, ma'am, you have to wear your goggles po. Pero pag sleeping hours lang na mga po, paano kinakabit yun? Ah, ma'am, ito po. Just remember po, yung tip po na eye shield, it should be on the nose page po. Magpo-cross po sila on the nose page. There is a plaster mag inside of your teeth to take the eye shield po. Now, let's go to your after surgery. For one week after surgery, especially for the ladies po, avoid any makeup po. Especially powder-based makeup is not allowed for one week. Because the small particle nun, baka pumunta po sa eyes natin that may cause irritation or may cause in the soil po. Okay? But if you're going to use your daily basis cream, facial cream, you can use some oil to apply. Just avoid the eye. Lipstick allowed po. Visiting of sauna is in bad for one week is not allowed as well because it's too hot. You cannot tolerate it the eyes. And then also for one week, during showering or washing of the face, should be done with precaution. Okay? Before you're going to immerse in the water, just to make sure you have to close your eyes. Po. Okay? Para hindi po siya mapasuka ng tubig na yung mata. Okay? Just extra care lang po muna tayo for one week after the surgery. Okay po? Any question po? Can we use swimming goggles to play, taking a bath? It's up to you, sir. But it's okay. It's okay po. But it's also, it's already enough if you're going to close your eyes. But if you're not comfortable and you think you're in doubt po, you can use the man po. It's up to you. Okay? Then for one month after the surgery po, swimming or any water sports or water activities are not allowed for one month. Also, for one month, any contact sports like boxing or wrestling is not allowed as well. And also, aerial activities like badminton, table tennis is not allowed for one month also. Okay? Water sports like uh, swimming or diving if you're doing gardening and for one month. Okay. Anything po? And then, what to expect after the surgery po? Uh, first, as I said earlier, is painful. And then, second po, magtitiri eyes po kayo. And it's also normal to have tiri eyes after the surgery because it's only the adjustment period of your eyes after the surgery. Okay? Or it likes that we penetrate some trauma into your bed, to your eye bed. That's why magtitiri eyes po siya. Okay po? And then, second po, you will have a cloudy vision after the surgery and it's also normal because of the water that the doctor flushed into your eyes lang po. And it will subside after a few hours, like 3 to 6 hours. That's why driving is not allowed for 24 hours after the surgery. Okay? And then, last po, you may feel something heavy on your eyes po and it's also normal. It's just only the adjustment period or maybe due to flat making. Yun lang po yun. But technically, tomorrow, I can promise, uh, the teary eyes is no more. Uh, blurred vision or cloudy vision is no more also. And then, the pain is already less or it's already tolerable tomorrow when you wake up early in the morning. And then, if you, uh, if you will ask me if you, can, if you will gain right away your 2020 vision, tomorrow, no. It will take time. It will take two to three months para po makita yung clear vision. But for those who have high grade po, abrupt, you can see already the big difference ng lupino na po yung mata niyo. Especially for those who have 500 up, you can see abrupt already the difference po. Hindi lang ganang ka-clear pero... Yes ma'am, hindi lang po siya ganang ka-clear. No need to wear your eyeglasses naman. That's why it's very important to your follow-up visit to know kung nagpo-progress po ba yung mata niyo sa Ano po, sa operation. Okay? Your follow-up visit is tomorrow. 
you have to come back here. And then after one week, that's why all your pause of kick is good for one week only. Then after a month, after three months, after six months, and after a year of the surgery. And if you are living outside of the country, you can visit your ophthalmo ophthalmologist there. Just to make sure kung bumababa po yung grade ng mato. Okay? Yun po. So, any question po? After the surgery ba, may time na we will lose vision? No. Wala. Blurry na. Blurry na. Blurry na. Blurry na. Blurry na. Blurry na. Blurry so far. And may I think, kung tinatanong nyo po kung bumabalik po ba yung pagkalabo ng mata ninyo, technically sir, we are all prone for cataract. It's only one of the reasons kung malabog yung mata ninyo. And of course, it depends also for genetics po. If it's already our genes na talagang malabo yung mata natin. And of course, mm -hmm. sa uh, profession po natin. If we are IT, of course, we are exposed to radiation of the computer po. But of course, you will enjoy in my po 10 to 15 years or 20 years po the pure vision after the surgery. And then right after the surgery, if you want to use your cell phone, watch TV, or use your computer, it's okay po right after the surgery. But if there is discomfort, much better to take a rest na lang. Po. Any question po? None. So, from here po, before tayo mag-start ng operation, I'm going, I have three medication that I'm going to instill to you. So, my first medication is Devofloxacin. It's only your prophylaxis for infection po. It's only antibiotic po. So, you're going to receive it two doses. So, one from here before you enter in the OR. And then, your second dose is after the procedure po. So that's why if you will ask me what is when is the counting of your every three hours of the surgery after you'll be discharged from here po. Because after the surgery, you have to come back here because the doctor will see you again under the scope to make sure the clock is okay. Okay? So once you be discharged from here, that's the time you're going to count every three hours for your eye drops po. Okay po? Any question? So, my second medication is decongestant. It's only for the bleeding factor po. Then, third po is anesthesia. So, yung, yung effect po ng anesthesia after ko pong makatak sa inyo or may instill po sa inyo, there's something heavy inside of your eyes. Yun lang po. It's also normal. And, pag pinatak ko na po yung anesthesia sa inyo, you have to blink in between po. Huwag nyo lang po siyang i-open. Kasi once you... Kasi sa iba po, ang... Um, effect niya po is parang na ano na lang yung mata nila, yung parang nagkaroon ng, yung nakadilat na lang yung mata nila. So, kung ganun yung effect sa inyo, you have to close your eyes na lang po. Okay? Because if you will keep it open, it may cause postponed of your surgery because it will keep, uh, it will make your eyes dry po. Okay po? So, you have to close your eyes once na pinatakon na yung anesthesia sa inyo. Okay po? So, I'm going to start up na ano, pagpapa. So, may sabay kami pa pa doon? Yes po. Sarap po. Ha? 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 Hindi pa po. Ay, okay po. If you want to go to bathroom and it's not your turn of the surgery, you can, ano na ba po, go to restroom po. Just to take off your, uh, your gown and also to change your slipper lang po. Yung head cover po nung yun. Hey, Dr. Rodriguez. Okay, let me fix you more. How do you say your first name? I was about to ask that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sobrang curious na kami, ma'am. Ano J.U.S. Noyer. J.U.S. Noyer. Noyer. So are they calling you J.U.S.? Yes. How unusual and unique. Bakit? May kwento ba yan? Yung J.U.S. po, tamaw.
clear batch to the cold. So, okay, I was like, we are four in our batch. We're second batch. And the Chinese girl that went before me was like, inside the operating room was really screaming very loudly. And I was like, oh my god. She's screaming very loudly. I think there's someone being murdered inside the operating room. And I was like, I'm next. But they said I should just stay chill. They said this won't hurt. So I was like, they said it's painless. It's okay. You should just chill. You should just be relaxed. And so I was the next one. The first, my right eye was the first one that went go through the LASIK procedure. And the important question is, did it hurt? Yes, it did hurt a lot. For my right eye at least. Um, yeah, it really did hurt a lot. I didn't expect it to hurt that much. And I was like, after the one eye, it was like, I wanna go out of the room crying and stop the procedure. Everything. I was just like, I want this to end already. I think I can go through this for my left eye also. But then, my left eye didn't hurt that much as it did in the right eye. So, I think I was like, okay, then, yeah, it really did hurt a lot. But it's okay. It's all worth it. Seeing things in HD 4K <laughs> was really worth it, I think. And I still recommend it for anyone who would like to go through it. One more thing that we can consider about it is the pain tolerance. Because it's really different for each and everyone. I think I'm just I think I just have a low pain tolerance, I guess, because it did hurt for me. But a lot of people said that it was painless, especially on the first batch that went before. Me. In the second batch, yeah, I think it's only me and the Chinese girl that was really <laughs> and felt that it was me. After the procedure, um, me and uh, my parents, uh, me and my parents went home through grab, and that's it. <laughs> my eyes won't stop tearing up. <laughs> I I think it just really produced a lot of tears and it hurt that night and um, we had to put I think we had to put medicine every three hours <laughs> so that's it I think after that I I um, I went to leave from work for one week so that I don't I don't put my eyes to any strain and then that's it I think that's pretty much everything about it. So I had I had I had my first so it's it. I had my first follow-up checkup one day after the operation, so it's the next day. Second follow-up checkup was on one week after the operation. The third follow-up checkup is one month after the operation and the fourth follow-up checkup will be six months and hey, three months after the operation so the fifth follow-up will be for six months and the next follow-up will be after a year. right now we're on our way to Shinagawa again for our for my follow-up checkup the operation happened yesterday and um, there was a lot of I had a hard time sleeping and um but in lang, I had a very you know, helpful nurse with me. Yes. And she really helped me a lot. I am po pa din yung push ang i-rent. Magkay. You hire po as a private nurse. Um Ano na po siya? Tested na po siya. Medyo malino, medyo malino na talaga siya. Hindi, hindi lang ako sure kung 2020, pero malino na siya. 
makikita ko na yung mga bagay-bagay. Yun lang, mahirap kasi every 3 hours, magpapatak ka, uh, kahit natutulog ka. Kaya parehas kami po yan, magpapa-facial siya. Yung whole procedure, okay naman, para mabilis lang. Pero feeling ko, ang tagal-tagal para sa akin. Hindi ko lang siguro kinakabahan ako. Namumutla na nga daw ako doon. Tapos, wala. Parang, after na isang mata, gusto ko na umiyak. Gusto ko na ipi ipatigil lahat ng pa. <laughs> Pero nandun na yun. Ayun. Tapos, Maganda yung product nila sa mukha, yung Celeste. <laughs> May ano, pa pag-advertise na nagagano. Maganda yung Celeste sa mukha. Parang ang smooth, ang whiten nga lang. Hindi ako nagbasa kasi ng mukha today. So, ayan, ang oily-oily ko. Okay lang yan. Ayun, tapos, operation, okay naman. mag naman silang lahat. As always, ako mag naman silang lahat. And yun, nagkakwentuhan pa kami bago ko ilagay dun sa machine. Medyo nakakakaba lang. Siguro kasi nanonood ako ng videos kung ano yung talagang ginagawa. So, kung may mag mag to take din siguro ng lazy, huwag nyo masyado damdami yung videos. first follow up check out and I'm still waiting for my sister <laughs> may tatlo sila rito ang waiting area tapos ito yung isa baka ako masyado makasakambay dito this is my second follow up check out sadly ito na yung naputan si Engineer at saka si Lily lang na dito mawin na rin siya sila ngayon. Dati, may, dati wala pa silang pa number. Ngayon may pa number na sila. My next checkup would be six months after the operation, which is three months. Tagal-tagal <laughs> thinking of doing the LASIK procedure and I must admit that the first three months my vision is still fluctuating a lot and I can't read some letters, numbers, things like that but after a few months it all became consistent and I can say that I had the clear vision <laughs> and I'm so happy that I did go with the procedure I actually waited a few months after, um, few months after the basic procedure to do this video so that I can be more reliable. 
Because if I will do the video right after the LASIK procedure, I will say, Oh, okay, my vision is clear, but uh, how about after a few months, will it really retain um, the 2020 vision? So everything's crystal clear. Um, the only thing that I do for, I think, maintaining this is uh, putting eye drops so that I would not have dry eyes. So far, everything's okay, and I highly recommend it. That's it, I think. For any questions, um, please do comment below, and um, yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And love you all, guys. By the way, I'm using <laughs> Catherine Bernardo's um, lip cheek tint. It's called. Dainty, and then for my lips, I used authenticity. Yes, I'm not really good at makeup. I tried to be decent today, <laughs> to look decent today, because I wanted to really try out Katrine's uh, lipstick and lip and cheek tint light. That's it. I hope you guys had learned something from this video because I really wanted to share my experiences and I really wanted to inspire people to also not be afraid of uh, the things that they think will make the quality of their life better. So, thank you guys for listening and I do wish that uh, you will all be uh, <laughs> so thank you guys for listening and watching this video I hope you got a lot of information and I helped you in some ways in deciding if you will do the LASIK procedure bye